Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically add gravity form responses to Google Sheets. So let us begin with a small example. So as you can see, this is a form that I have built in gravity form. It is known as new vaccination form. And what I'm going to do here is imagine a person called as Selenia Gomez is making an entry to this form. So the first name is Selenia, the last name is Gomez. This is her email address and this is the phone number and her age is 24 okay and the submission has been made by a person called as selenia gomez excellent now basically let me just straight away take you to my google sheet okay so as you can see we do have the details of selenia gomez selenia gomez and this is the email and of course this is the phone number and this is the age okay so you're obviously thinking how did i do it how did i manage to send the data from gravity forms to google sheets so basically here i have used an integration and automation software called as Pabiconnect that integrates google form and google sheets gravity form and google sheets now the best part of using public connect is there is actually no need for coding skills or programming knowledge let me show you the process so basically in the new tab all you have to do is just type pabri.com p-a-b-b-l-y.com pabri.com okay so this is the website of pabri.com here hover on products and here you will find connect just click on connect okay so this is the website of public connect just click on sign in Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. How about we give it as gravity forms. Gravity forms to Google Sheets Google Sheets and let me just click on create okay so when you click on create you will find two windows the trigger window as well as the action window now basically we are going to create a new workflow to integrate gravity forms and Google Sheets now you should know that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box so that you can clone it and directly access it into your account okay so how about we select the choose app as gravity forms well it's obvious because we want to send the data from gravity forms that is why now in the trigger event how about we make it as new response okay so new response is a trigger event so you're obviously thinking what is a trigger event trigger is basically a if statement it asks a question if this condition is met what should be done for example, if a new response is made in gravity forms, then what action should be taken by the system? Now we do have only one trigger event that is new response. But in case, if you want more trigger events, approach the help section. So when you click on the help section, you will be straight away directed to Pabli forums. And in the Pabli forums, you can make a request that you want so and so trigger events. So just close this. So basically, the in the nutshell, we are just going to integrate gravity forms as well as Google Sheet. Okay, so let me just straight away take you to Gravity Forms. So this is a demo account I am using. Now before we actually integrate before we actually integrate Gravity Forms and Google Sheet, there is a plugin that you have to install. So let me just straight away take you to that plugin. And the name of the plugin is Gravity Forms Webhook Add-ons. Let me just type it Gravity Forms Webhook Add-ons. Yeah, this one as you can see this particular uh, plugin is already installed in my system now remember this this plugin can be only brought with the premium license of gravity forms i hope it is clear this plugin can be only brought with the premium license of gravity forms okay so i'm assuming that uh, you have installed this plugin or uh, and uh, after installing all you have to do is just go to forms click on form okay so these are all the forms i have now I'm interested in this particular form, vaccination registration form. I'm just going to click on settings. Okay, so when you click on settings, you will have the options that at the bottom called as webhooks. Click on webhooks. Okay, so what's next? So we are going to create a new webhook. So as you can see, I have two uh, webhooks that is already working. Now for your consideration, I'm going to create a new one. So we have to give a name to this webhook. I'm going to give it as Google Sheets data because obviously we are going to send the data from gravity forms to Google Sheets that is why Google Sheets data 
okay now this is the most important part the request url so to get the request url let's go to public connect and copy this this is the request url or the webhook url you want you copy this and you just paste it here okay so we have entered the request url now we have the request method that is post and the request format that is json so in case of request header we don't have to do anything okay just ignore this and in the request body let's keep it as all fields now in case of webhook conditions we just can simply ignore it just click on save settings okay excellent we have uh, integrated this particular uh, form to public connect now what's next so what i'm going to do here is we are going to create a new post click on new and click on post and uh, the name of the post is vaccination registration new form okay then i'm just going to click on this plus button and I'm going to go to gravity forms and we are going to work with this particular form vaccination registration form okay remember this this is the form that we have integrated okay so we have made sure that uh, this form is entered in this particular uh, uh, post let me just publish this post click on publish okay so we are ready so this is the post okay and what we are going to do here is since public connect is integrated with this particular post now we are going to check whether if we fill or make a submission in this particular post in this particular form public connect can capture it or not so let's have a look yes it is showing it is waiting for the data everything is set all we have to do is just conduct an experiment so the name of the person is uh, matthew perry and this is the email this is the phone number and his age is 33 and let me just click on submit so the form submission has been made by a person called as matthew perry so let me just go to public connect yes as you can see we do have the details so the name of the person is matthew that's the first name then we have the last name as perry and this is the email and this is the phone number and this is of course the age excellent we have got all the data okay so now we are planning to sync all this data into google sheet and this is how you do it in the choose app of the action window we select it as google sheets google sheets okay this one now in the action event how about we make it as add new row so you obviously thinking why the action event is kept as add new row to explain you better let me just straight away take you to my google sheet so this is a newly created google sheet called as vaccination lineup and these are the columns we have the first name the last name email phone as well as the age so the idea is that when a new row will be entered the data will be filled okay so example when the data of michael Karas will arrive so this data will be inserted as a new row so the first this field or this cell will be filled and adjacent to it this cell will be filled and so and so so let me explain you better let me actually show you so let me first just click on connect in the new connection name let me just click on connect with google sheets so these are the series of uh, gmail accounts i have for your consideration i'm going to work with this gmail account because this particular google sheet is present in google drive of this gmail account i'm selecting this one now it is asking me to confirm my choice now before i press allow let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us so on the basis of that trust let me just press allow authorization complete excellent so as you can see by default it is showing the select spreadsheet as vaccination lineup now uh, in case if it is not showing you just select one of these spreadsheet okay so as you can see these are all the spreadsheet that is present in my google drive account now uh, out of all these spreadsheet i'm interested in this one vaccination lineup we have selected it now we have to select the sheet now as you can see there is only one sheet that is sheet one that is why by default it is showing select sheet as sheet one now we can start mapping the first name you just click here and you just go to the first accordion and this is the data that we want as you may remember this is the data that is the first name that is matthew this is the same data that we have received from the first window that is matthew okay if you remember so we have received the data from google i mean gravity forms and we have mapped it then we have the last name as perry so let me just scroll down okay perry it is then we have the email and we are just going to map it 
easy and we have mapped it easy and then we have the phone number so this is the phone number and we have mapped it the age so this is the age okay so let me just enter the age okay so we have mapped the age so we have mapped all the details so just click on save and send test request to enter this detail in google sheet let me do that okay so as you can see the data has been sent so let's have a look so we do have the details okay so we have the first name the last name the email the phone as well as the age excellent so our integration is working fine now uh, before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so let me just uh, minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated gravity forms to public connect and then after that you have integrated public connect to google sheets so now there's a perfect flow of data between gravity forms and google sheets so in case if you like this video please share comment and subscribe furthermore if you have any queries please visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome.